the uh, Prime Minister said, and while there is joy for many in that uh, across the country we can start socialising in limited numbers again, those who are on the sh in the shielding category, uh, Secretary of State, must continue to do so. With him, Mr Johnson saying he hopes to find ways to make life easier. What, what might they be then? Well, it's something that, um, that we're looking at because we completely recognise that those who are shielded, that's yeah, clinically vulnerable, are being told to isolate and not to see friends and family at all. Um, that is going to start taking its uh, toll on them. We want to find ways to be able to do that. Um, but it is very, very difficult because they are clinically vulnerable and nobody obviously wants to um, you know, visit family who might be in that group and find that they've given them the virus. So um, we don't have answers yet. That's why they have to remain shielded for the time being, uh, probably, possibly for several more months. But we do... Several more months, Secretary of State. They've already done the thick end of three. That This is beginning to become like a jail term. If, are you saying they could be in there for another three months? It should be. It, it's a very difficult situation. And that's why the Prime Minister's... Uh, clear that we want to try and identify um, ways to be able to make life easier. But what might some of those ways be? Well, we don't have the answer to that yet. If I had the answer, right. the Prime Minister, the answer, he probably would have announced it yesterday. But it's a difficult situation with that uh, shielded cohort because they are uh, clinically the most vulnerable. But it is something that we are working on. But also they might be emotionally the most vulnerable. I mean, we understand they've done three months. You're suggesting they might have to do another matter of months. It's not good for one's emotional health, is it? We absolutely recognise that, and that's why you know the Prime Minister said yesterday that we we want to identify ways to um, make life easier for them so that they can actually start to see friends okay. and families again, and uh, work out ways that we can enable that to happen in a way that's safe for them.